Hello, welcome to Quackalo. Thank you for being here. You're tuning in for our 10 minutes or less series where I'm going to do my very best to run you through exactly what vindication is and why you should be paying attention to it or not in 10 minutes or less. Now, Vindication is a game that came onto my radar a while ago when the core box first arrived, and we're filming this video for a very specific reason. Today is the last day that the brand new expansion and all this other stuff is currently available over on Kickstarter. So if you're interested in hopping in this one, if it piques your interest, make sure to follow the link at the top of this video to swing over there and check it out. This isn't a paid or sponsored video in any form. This is a game that has grown on me through multiple plays, and so I wanted to do my part to celebrate and share it with you, the community. The first time I ever tried this game out, I gotta be honest, I wasn't convinced. But over time, as I've dipped back into it, brought in some of the expansions, this one has really became uh, one of probably my favorite games in my collection, easily within the top 25 or so. And along with that, the expansion that's over on Kickstarter right now is working to address the one major issue I still have with Vindication, and that is the lack of thematic world story, you know, flavor text, the thing that I think is the most important thing for any board game to have in spades. Vindication with the art and the style and the graphics and the narrative promised me all of that, but it is mostly a very, very good and crunchy resource management and tableau building game. But this brand new expansion brings in world events, brings in character progression, and allows you to experience and journey through a narrative while you play. So I cannot wait to get my hands on it because it is going to highlight and hopefully uh, emphasize some of the, my favorite elements in a game that I genuinely enjoy. All that being said though, if I keep talking too much, this video won't be 10 minutes or less. If you're brand new here, hit that subscribe button down below and let's go ahead and get started. You are wretched, but that is not the end of your story. After a life spent chasing wealth and excess, your cruelty and corruption have finally caught up with you. That is why your shipmates threw you overboard, left to die in the icy black sea. Nevertheless, in this world of surprises, that was not your destiny. Moments before vanishing into the endless darkness, you washed ashore amid the ruins of a remote island, where you are revived by a traveler. As you open your eyes to your bizarre new home, you find that something better, something stronger, has awakened inside of you. Now. There is work to be done. You have nothing but the beating of your heart, the breath in your lungs, and a tarnished past, pleading to be rewritten. Vindication by Orange Nebula is a 2-5 player fantasy game where scumbags pursue their own distinct story in their path to redemption. Every game will evolve differently as players take turns creating their novel storyline that may include acquiring relics, attaining traits, defeating monsters, controlling regions, and performing secret quests until a player meets one of the unique endgame conditions. Your goal can change from game to game through variable endgame triggers as you seek redemption for your past. Throughout a session of Vindication, you will explore the landscape, unveiling various regions of the island. These regions will provide you with resources, new actions, and allow you to establish control over the island. You may encounter the command post, where you can upgrade your movement, the inn where you can hire a companion, the shrine, monastery, library, fort, an ancient tomb or arcane tower, a holy spire, and finally, a gaping maw, where you can confront the monsters that cover this land. The core system of Vindication deals with utilizing, converting, and upgrading various resources or cubes on the map. These cubes are your attributes, and they will not only determine what you are able to overcome, but if you will, in fact, be redeemed. Courage, strength, inspiration, wisdom, knowledge, and vision will be at your disposal, each feeding into the others, a balancing act of resource management and rewarding actions. As you gather yourself, you will move your potential, the person who you could be, up in the conviction and influence regions of your player board, slowly developing yourself through action. During the course of the game, you will gain honor by expanding your influence over the map, 
completing personal quests, discovering new regions, adding companions to your team, acquiring rare and powerful relics, defeating monsters, gaining traits and proficiencies, and earning masteries of your attributes. The base game of Vindication is fairly straightforward. You will choose to activate your character or companion, move across the map, visit a region, or rest. The core system, however, comes with a wide range of expansions, each adding new asymmetric elements to the board, from new regions, more actions, diverse heroes and abilities, and even a developing storyline. There is a lot of opportunity to customize your experience and grow as you play through multiple sessions. Vindication can be a bit intimidating because of its box size, number of different cards, and modular tile setup. It is also a bit of an abstract, sandbox game. If you aren't willing to learn how different cards interact with each other from game to game, want a perfect information game, or are looking for major player interaction, this game may not be right for you. Along with that, while the narrative roots run deep through the art, lore, and style of Vindication, the storyline can be easily lost behind the cube management system, and it often has less flavor than one might expect. There is an expansion that adds both personal and world stories and events, but the base game won't shine if you're looking for a largely thematic experience. Vindication may be right for you, however, if you enjoy having almost limitless options. The path from wretched to vindicated is one that provides a world of discovery, strategy, and interesting choices. Every time you sit down to play, the experience will be unique. The regions on the map, characters you play, monsters you encounter, and choices you make will adapt as your environment does. If you enjoy converting resources and carefully managing your actions, you want to feel powerful as you progress from a weak, shore-washed creature to a hero conquering the landscape, and you often get the same game to the table multiple times, Vindication is a great option. It provides a new experience and has room to grow with you and your gaming group through expansions. At the end of the day, if you feel Vindication is right for you, it'll provide you with an open book to fill with tales of fallen heroes on their road to redemption. If you enjoy storytelling and character development, but feel Vindication may be too much for you, give Call to Adventure by Brotherwise Games a try. And if you're looking to jump into the deep end and feel true power at your fingertips, consider Sean's favorite game of all time, Mage Knight by WizKids. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, I want to let you know that it was partially uh, written and scripted with one of my good friends, Sean, who is here on the channel quite a lot. Uh, he started his own family channel uh, with his wife and his, uh, I believe, six children. And so if you're interested in seeing some family-oriented content, if you want to dip into uh, what interests him and, and uh, some of the stuff that's going over on, a, on his household, uh, follow the link uh, in this video and go hit the subscribe button over there on his channel. He's a good friend of mine. He's doing some good stuff, and I am excited to see him get started, uh, connect with his family, and explore this content creation world. So, Sean, thank you for helping uh, get this prepared on time. And to all the rest of you, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.